Ah, hello there. The fantastic doctor here. Not the ultimate doctor. He's a little bit busy. So he's asked me to handle this speech. Lazy bugger. Anyway, so today, I believe, in the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and across the world, for the most part, it is... Wednesday the 19th of October 2022 at the time of this video going out. Now, yesterday would have been Tuesday the 18th of October 2022, which was the BBC's 100th centenary anniversary. So this is just a message from me and my other incarnations to say happy centenary, happy 100th anniversary birthday to the British Broadcasting Corporation, formerly the British Broadcasting Company. Or is it the other way around? The BBC have been making top quality media over the last century, starting off as the first radio station in the United Kingdom, first radio broadcasting, uh, public service broadcaster. And in 1936, they were the first television channel in the United Kingdom. Although television didn't really kick off until the late 40s, early 50s, due to a certain little thing called World War II happening right in the middle of it. And ever since then, the BBC have either been at the forefront or not far behind in terms of the changes of the media landscape. As things have developed over time and space, the BBC continue to be a great public service to the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and across the world with sub subsidiary parts of the BBC located internationally such as BBC America and BBC Australia for example as well as their uh, cooperation with other networks such as HBO the Canadian Broadcasting Com Corporation and streaming service Netflix so it is with a great honour and a great privilege that I the doctor say thank you to the BBC for all you have done over the last century and that I hope that you continue to grow and expand into the future. I know the public service thing is possibly going to end in 2027 with the reduction of the television license fee depending if that gets u-turned or not but Hopefully, in spite of that, the BBC will continue to be just as amazing for the next century as they were for this past one. And I invite you, the viewing YouTube public, to join me in a toast to the BBC. Happy Centenary. And yes, just like with Victory in Europe Day, which my predecessor recorded a similar sort of message for, we are going to be having a party. Yes, all 13 of us are going to be having a party. It's not going to be a concert like last time, but we're just going to have a party. You know, just, just the, the 13 of us and our companions, friends, maybe even a couple of enemies here and there. Just going to have a nice little party to celebrate the BBC, because without them, Doctor Who would never have existed. Uh, neither would so much other brilliant programs and forms of media, nor would they inspire further others across the world. So that's, uh, that's another thing to be grateful for. So we will be celebrating the BBC's centenary. And once again, a very happy 100th anniversary centenary to the BBC. This is the Fantastic Doctor signing out. Until next time, everybody.
Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the Nicholas Payne Audio YouTube channel. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the Nicholas Payne YouTube channel.